I'm really glad to see that there are actually some faces in the room. Um, we're in Switzerland and it's 12 p.m. So it's practically the law to go for lunch right now. Um, so thank you to all the lawbreakers uh, who are sticking with it and, and here to see the lunchtime presentations. I appreciate that. My name is Stephanie Feeney. I am head of partners and users at uh, Restore. Uh, Restore is an organization that actually has its roots here in Zurich. We're a spin-off from the um, Swiss uh, Federal Institute for Technology, the ETH Zurich. Um, so very much based here, but an organization with a very global outreach. Um, and so I'm, I'm really excited to, to introduce that to you today and tell you a little bit about that. I wanted to start with this great quote uh, from Simon Zadek, who's the chair for biodiversity at Nature Finance. And I think he completely nails it with this quote. He says, our economies and societies are not 10% or 30%, but 100% dependent on nature. So that's from the nice coffee that we're drinking here at the conference today, to the clothes that we're wearing, to the materials that have gone into building this nice conference center, um, to the fuel that will, that will drive the transport that we take on the way home from the conference today. So it's everything. We are 100% we are dependent on nature and, and her natural resources, um, which is why it's deeply concerning that we're in the midst of a climate and biodiversity crisis, um, because the collapse of biodiversity means the collapse of nature, uh, which means that our businesses and our investments and our communities and our families are increasingly at risk. So I think it's absolutely urgent that we move and shift towards a nature positive economy and society which means conserving and protecting the nature that we still have. Um, and it also means restoring the nature that's been degraded or destroyed um, in the past and working actively to, to, to rebuild that. But what's the challenge? So we know the land is there. I've just come back from COP27, where I heard announcement after announcement after announcement and press releases and, and, and sessions announcing huge amounts of money being invested into nature, which is fantastic. And we have conferences like, like this that are becoming more and more mainstream. So we know that there's money there. The investment is there. But we know at Restore that not enough of those funds are flowing into quality nature initiatives on the ground. And we know this because the 130,000 plus nature projects that are in our database tell us that funding is the number one barrier that they have to scaling up their projects and scaling up the impact of those projects. What are the reasons for those, those challenges? I think there are three reasons. So first of all, there's a huge focus on, on carbon right now, which is not bad per se, but carbon projects by definition need to be very large scale. They need to be returning some sort of, uh, making some kind of financial return in the form of, of carbon credits. And the organizations need to have the initial resources to uh, to, to, to enter into the carbon certification process and to adhere to, to very strict standards. So for small to medium-sized nature initiatives that don't have this level of scale or resource, that's, that's just not possible. I believe the other reason has to do with a lack of trust because of a lack of transparency. So if I do put money into nature, how can I measure the impact of that? How do I know that the funding that I'm channeling into nature is going to have an impact? And I believe the third reason is because of a lack of collaboration along the whole value chain in, in, in nature. So it's still very fragmented. 
So somebody who's working on a rewilding project um, somewhere in Australia may not know that 50 kilometers away, somebody else is working on something very similar, or that there's a tree nursery that has exactly the right kinds of um, native trees that he or she is looking for. So it's very fragmented. People are working on nature projects very much in their own bubble, um, and there's lots that we can do to, to bring that together. So that's why we've developed Restore. Um, it's a platform to connect small to medium-sized nature projects, so nature stewards, to small to medium-sized funding opportunities. Um, and these projects are very much high quality, strong focus on biodiversity and community, and it's about making it easier for those to make the first step. Hi, my name's um, Jane Glavin, and I'm the co-owner of to take the first step in um, and, and get that initial first mile funding to help them scale up. So what does it mean for the projects? So for nature projects, they join a global platform. We increase the visibility of the work that they're doing and the exposure that they get to, to funding opportunities. Each nature steward has a public profile where they can talk and describe and give updates on, on the nature project that they're working on, and at the same time access for free high-resolution satellite imagery from ESRI. We'll be adding planet satellite imagery to that very soon, and access to 30-plus global data sets in chapters across carbon, biodiversity, water, um, and environment. Um, and the projects get to connect to one another, to share knowledge, and to connect to funding opportunities. For those who are the nature funders, what, what do you get from Restore? Will you get a growing database of projects ready to, to invest in? Projects that really value biodiversity and the community benefits? Because we know if those are there, carbon will be there as a co-benefit. You get access to science-based insights to help you to monitor and report against the progress and the impact of your funding. And you get some insights into what are the kinds of projects that are really most worth investing in. Since Restore launched just over a year ago, we've already built the biggest the world's biggest database of nature projects. So today we have 130,000 nature projects on the platform, and we will continue to grow this um, through our team of local outreach consultants who are based around the world, through internationalization and member-to-member -member effects. We have 8,500 users on the platform, nature stewards that represent 700 plus organizations across 140 countries, and 14 different types of ecosystems. We have deep scientific roots coming from the ETH Zurich, um, and our science partners there means that we are the first to host the latest global data sets. And we're fundamentally a non-profit organization. So that means we are very much mission-driven, and mission comes first in every decision and every um, action that we take. So how can you engage with us? Well, if you're a nature funder, there are two ways today in which you can engage with us. We are looking for impact-obsessed venture philanthropists to join our donor base. So if that sounds like you or anyone that you know, please come and talk to me. Or if you can create opportunities to fund nature, then use the Restore database to find the kinds of nature projects you want to support and use the Restore database to help you to run and manage those selection projects. And of course, if you're a nature steward, put your project and your initiative on Restore so that you can be found by nature funders. That's it. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for breaking the law and not going for lunch. I super appreciate it. <laughs> um, and I look forward to speaking to you, some of you later. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you Thanks so much. Very much.